The 2018 midterms are just six months away, folks. And after a year of Trump's presidency, a record number of people are running for Congress this year. Yes, a record number. As good, I think. Like when your house is on fire and you're like, wow, this is a record number of firemen. <laughs> and I'm keeping track of all the contenders in my ongoing series, The Late Show's Midterms 2018 Profiles in Discourage. <laughs> Tonight, the Senate race in West Virginia, where Republicans are hoping to unseat Democratic Senator and man wondering what Trump would taste like if you licked him. <laughs> Joe Manchin. <laughs> but Republicans have a little problem here. Their primary is a three-way race with two establishment Republicans battling former coal company CEO and Chef Boyardee's evil twin, <laughs> John, Don Blankenship. Republicans are worried that if Blankenship wins the primary, the GOP will lose because Blankenship is what analysts refer to as a complete tool. You see, he was CEO of Massey Energy during a mine disaster that killed 29 people and was criminally charged with conspiracy to violate federal mine safety standards after Massey manipulated the ventilation system during inspections of the mine to fool safety officials and was sentenced to a year in prison. Though he thinks he's the real victim, saying, I am an American political prisoner. Yes. He truly is the Nelson Mandela of tampering with mine safety equipment. But, yeah, yeah, Blankenship fans. Yeah. But just when you start to fall in love with the guy, you find out as Massey CEO, he injected toxic coal slurry near underground aquifers, a practice that has allegedly sickened hundreds of residents. But, look, he knows clean water is a human right, so he had his company pay to build a water line to bring clean, treated water directly to his own house, but never offered to provide the water to his neighbors. But he is offering to sell them his brand of bottled water, Bastard Springs. Mm -hmm. Bastard Springs, suck it. Even the people who like Blankenship don't have much nice to say. Just listen to former Massey Energy Chairman E. Morgan Massey rave about Don Blankenship's honesty. Most of what Don tells you is the truth. High praise indeed. <laughs> Most of the people Don meets are still alive. So you can see why the GOP is increasingly worried that Blankenship will blow a winnable race against Joe Manchin, and alarms are going off in Senate leadership suites. Alarms are going off? Get out of there! Blankenship messed with your ventilation system! We'll be right back with Hank and Mary.